You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Yeah, 15 minutes of fame. Uh, Kiki Hardbody. Yes, yes. Hi, K-E-E. 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 Two E's. Hardbody. Don't get in my interview, Hayden. That hey. Definitely ain't going up. He's such an avid, <laughs> such a hater. Uncle Ra, every time we try to work together, he always comes to you. But what's up, Uncle Ra? Ain't nothing, ain't nothing. Uh, how about if we do a little update about uh, tonight, uh, Smack Volume 1. Okay. Small room, sir, sir. crazy environment. Give me your take on tonight. My take on tonight, honestly, it was a great event. It was an intimate environment, but it was just... A- like I'm at all right now. Like shout out to Beasley, Smack, Chico, everybody with URL staff, P, Norbs. It, it was well put together, and you know I I just want to commend them for always setting the tone for other people, basically setting the blueprint because that's what Smack is known for. So I always get respect when it's due, and ultimately, like with the the backdrop. We all spray painted our names on it to give it that 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 street feel because that's where you know the battle rap scene comes from. Straight like that. Straight like that. And um, it was it was just you had to be there, like you literally. It was I say that sometimes at events, but like this event, like you literally had to be there. And it was a VIP event, so for me to get that invite and you know one of very few females that were actually there, I feel honored and blessed to be there. Honestly, it was it was great. So, so let's start with, with the, uh, I'm trying to remember what was, uh, actually Twerk and uh, JC started it off. That yes. was the first battle, oh, right? Oh yeah. my gosh, yes. Man, at first it was supposed to be JC and Trez, I, I'm not JC, Chef Trez and Chess was supposed to start it off, but I was so happy that JC and Twerk did start it off. Especially coming off that champion, um, you know, re- ultimate like recap, not recap, but champion brought the show in. So right, they right, kind of ended dope. with that. So once, you know, they started talking about twerking JC, I guess that just fired them up and they, they got straight to it. JC pen game is, is amazing. And with JC's pen game being amazing, it tapped into twerks pen game. It made him step his pin game up, which he did. He showed up, he showed out, he was aggressive like he always is. And he had he, he had incredible rounds. His first round was kind of short, but it was still well put together. His rounds, you see, all his rounds were well put together, but ultimately I gave it to Twerk. Um, it, I don't know, Twerk just, it's just preference, and I prefer to work over JC, but they both were great. They both were awesome. Still a good battle. Yes, no, it was no a doubt. great battle. Uh, so who was next? Next? I don't even remember the order particularly, <laughs> but who was next? I really don't was remember. Was Sugar and Mike P? Oh, right, because it was Jersey back-to-back. It was Jersey back-to-back. So... Should I even Jersey, be asking you? Jersey, <laughs> Jersey took this one. I, I gave I gave Twerk two one against JC. I gave Shook three zero. Clearly, now Mike Pete's second was really was really well written. And his third, when you guys see the footage, he tapped into his his personal life because you know Shook always asks, "What's your life like?" and Mike Peak kind of beat him to the punch if he was to like put that in, in the battle. So I thought that was really creative of Mike P and he showed his skills. He was punching. I would have expected more punches though for me personally from him, but he's a, he's a great talent. He still has some time to grow. Shook, a vet in the game, and Time and time again, proving himself, proving himself. He just he just came off the traffic three car out in Cali, and I was there for that. He did well on that car. His last battles, his last few years, Shook has been proven and proven to the culture he is worthy of top tier status. Because you know some backlash. 
I said, yeah, huh? She look been top ten. No, no, but what I'm saying is, Pete, you know Uncle Rod, you know people want to discredit him. You can't discredit him. You can't him. discredit him, but people try to. No doubt. People try yeah, to. Of course. They, you know, oh, now nah, he's not really, he need to do this, he need to do that. Shit. But Shook is top ten, top which is a fact. Ten. This is not me being biased, Jersey. No, this is a pure fact. He's he's a great talent. He has good energy. He had bars. He three old Mike P. I edged him. The um, I believe it's the second round, and Mike P again. His third round was creative. Should came out swinging. Should came out perfect. Him and Twerk, they they just kept that momentum. So after Twerk and JC's battle for Mike P and Should to go up right next, Jersey took it 2-0 off the off the break. Now it was I'm a great gonna, battle. I, 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 I think it was K. Sean and um, Danny Myers next. Okay, K. Sean and Danny Myers. Very, very intensive battle. Very. Very aggressive. Much more aggressive than I actually proposed it would be. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I gave it to Sean. I like Sean better. Danny came. He was talking. I think Danny third was, to me, one of his, his best out of the, the whole battle. His, his third round was was really was hitting for me personally, but Kayshawn just every single round Kayshawn was just he was in his bag. And again, I always commend Sean when he's not overreacting so much like with the aggression. Danny was touching him and like trying to push him around. You know, he pushing him off and telling him to chill. But we all know Sean. We know how Sean can be, and he just like you no know, talk. He he used his words and not his hands. So I thought that was really you know brave of him to. To take the higher role, but you know they they shook hands. The camaraderie was um was great after the battle. But ultimately, I gave it to Shine. Danny is representing for the West Coast. He's doing his thing for the West Coast. I feel like people need to give him more props. Also, um, a, a, again, certain battle rappers they're not getting their their respect that I feel like they should get. And Danny Myers is actually one of those people. Fuck with Danny Myers. Yeah. Uh, bar guy. Yeah. Now that's three. I'm right. trying to think of who was next. Since you said bar guy, he actually gave Twerk his uh his yeah. chain, the bar guy chain. That, that was dope. That like was dope. keeping the bat like too. that. That stuff like that is actually yeah. great for the culture. Yeah. It's good to go against each other, yeah. but to to build friendships within you know our, this is our own little community. Yeah. Yeah. And for that type of environment in which we were in, that was just like the perfect time. Because had that been like a bigger event, it probably wouldn't have went just like that. Right, 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 right. You, right, see, you right, follow right. me over? Camaraderie would have yeah. been different. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I, I said that too. Yeah. I said that too. And it yeah, was yeah. love. Yeah. Like, From the beginning to the end. It was nobody, no arguments. This was the first event I ever been to, and it was no arguments, no back and forth, no like nothing. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I'm trying I, to think of who was next, though. You know, I don't remember order, bro. I'm not so, told you. <laughs> so after K. Shine, it was like seven battles. I know. Then we had um, <laughs> rum, and um, we're gonna go with rum and um, yeah, yeah, rum and um, and, and iron shop. Oh my goodness. That battle, I have no words for that. That battle was so well put together. You guys listen out there. Y'all hearing it from the Queen. Y'all hearing it from Kiki Harbody. Iron Solomon versus Rum Nitty. Classic. This is going in y'all top 10, top 5, top whatever you have. I promise you. Battle of the year. Ultimately, Tay Rock and Hollow to Don was like contender, like battle of the year. In my opinion, they had the best battle so far out of every battle I've seen. This clearly takes the cake. This is like back and forth, back and forth. Iron Solomon really showed me what great writer he is. He was saying things that every, it wasn't just me. Everybody was saying, "Where'd that come from?" Like crazy room shit. What? Like how? How did that happen? And then on the flip side, Nitty was the same way. And it wasn't all about gun bar, gun bar, gun bars for Nitty. Nitty went outside the box. So if people listen to what he was saying, Nitty wasn't talking like shoot him up, bang bang throughout the whole three rounds. He wasn't. 
So I really feel like it, it was just, oh my gosh, that's one of the best battles I've ever seen in my life, period. Small room, big room, doesn't matter. Like, this is one of my favorite battles, hands down. Like, I can't wait to watch that I really all. don't, I really don't know what to say. And if it hit like that in the building, I bet while we're watching it, we're probably going to stop, pause it every after every reaction. Catch, catch shit that we like, didn't get in the what? building, too. So... It, it was it was crazy. Yeah. All right, so uh, your baby daddy, <laughs> <laughs> your baby daddy versus um, B Magic. So yes, Av versus B Magic. We got a bi bipolar relationship, That's, but Av versus B Magic. First of all, B Magic came out, and you know he he's talking. He was much more quiet than what I expected. I would have expected much more aggression from him. And when he, when he started rapping, I'm like, okay, here we go. Uh, he got to warm up something. But he kept that same composure the whole entire time. And that killed the mood. On top of that, he choked multiple times. It took away from the battle. I, I wasn't very impressed, but he wasn't, don't get me wrong, he was saying some stuff when he was saying it, but he wasn't saying it with conviction to make it believable to me, to the point it's like, I can really react, like, oh my gosh, he magic said this, and it's like, I could walk away from this battle and, and just say, okay, be magic came back, but it wasn't nothing impressive, like, I wouldn't want to see him battle again, honestly. She tried to do it in front of her. Ab did very well. The 30 can't be under the 40. 3-0. Like, I mean, it's not even the numbers, but I, I, I really don't know what to say. Like, Ab did his thing. Ab has some bars. He He's getting more, What he's getting more, hot, what word can I say? Comfortable? He's getting, he's getting, he's getting way more comfortable. He He's moving more. Av is doing his thing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really proud of him. Pin game, crazy. He's he. Another one came off a of traffic three against Geechee Gotti. Did his thing against Gotti. I, I kind of was expecting this. I, this is the Av I wanted. Cause Av, you know, fell off for a little bit. I don't know if it was because he was battling New Jersey on um, battle rappers. I don't know what, but, <laughs> but this the this the Av that I I I wanted and. <laughs> <laughs> and he brought his A-game again from Cali, came back to this car for Smack Volume 1, and he killed it. Killed it. I, be magic. You saving me food. And, um, yeah. My child, go, well, I guess we'll go to, um, Sounds good to me. Chef Trez and, uh, and Chess. Where do I begin? I don't know if B Magic left that same aura because uh, Chess stood on that same side. <laughs> and the choking began with him and it ended with Chess. I, I don't know. Chess, he has so much potential. He's a great writer, he's a great battle rapper. He has everything in a battle rapper that I want. Except the choking, like the. The, the forgetting of the bars, you know, if mentally you're not there because he does have a life that most of us are not living and he doesn't like to use excuses for that, which I commend him for. But in the same breath, if you're not gonna come and give your all, your 100%, where you're just gonna go through every single round and kill it, it's like, why even battle? This is like the sixth, seventh battle we are talking about the same thing with us. Like, this is, this is not something we can keep brushing under the rug. This is problematic for the culture because everyone wants him to win. And we, we, can't, we can't make some, we can't make him win. He has to win him himself. He has to win first within for us to, to see it from the, you know, from the outside. And Chef Trez did what he did. Gave us one of them things, two of them things, three of them things, one and a half of them things. And <laughs> Chef Trez, Trez he, he did his thing. I must commend him. I don't know he wasn't feeling good as well, but he 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 pushed through it. He, I don't, oh man, it was just a great event. And it's like, I wish I could re remember certain bars or certain lines, but I was just so excited. Like it just gave me that feeling, that vibe. And ultimately, it was a great battle. 
if it would have been even greater battle had Chess second and third round would have went straight through. Because don't get me wrong, although he was choking, he was saying some stuff before his chokes. He was talking before his chokes. His first round, he didn't choke. But it kind of reminded me of when he battled JC. His first round was impeccable. And his second, his third, this is where he began to fall off. So now, for me, it's like, Chess, what are, what are we doing here? You know, uh, I want to see the best for him and the best in battle rap. But again, he has to win it as bad as he say he does and prove it to us. Because we, we all have hope in him. But, you know, that's pretty much that. But Chef Trez showed and proved that he, he needs to be here. He's welcomed here. He receives love here. He has bars. He battled a few people prior to chess and he was doing he was doing okay some battles he won some battles it might be debatable some, you know but he still has a name for himself and i appreciate what he brings to the culture also and i hope i'm not forgetting anybody but the last one was briz and um O'Red. i feel like we are forgetting somebody because yeah, it was so. like seven yeah. battles overall. I, I think we covered seven. Did we? I don't know. But <laughs> if we are forgetting somebody, they'll, they'll please. mention it in the comments. Right. But nonetheless, Briz and Overhead. Oh, I got What can I say? Very intense battle. People ask me, who? Excuse me, Jersey Turk, relax. Oh, Red and Briz was my battle of the night. For some reason, I'm always picking Briz within my battle of the night when he's on the card. He let me down with Calico. You, but you said. I'm going to get to this, Uncle Ra. <laughs> I was going for Old Red. I definitely said if Briz gave me the old Briz, this could be a great battle. I'm, I, I was, even with Briz coming in great, I still was giving it to Old Red. Now, again, Briz didn't give me that calico Briz. He gave me a whole nother Briz. And I was so happy that when he was spitting, I was his bars. You know, I'm not biased. Anybody that knows me knows I'm not biased, but I'm always taking jersey. But they were both going back and forth. I honestly, I, I, I want to edge it to red, but to be fair, to be honest, I need to watch it. So I'm not actually giving this one. This is the only battle that I'm actually not giving to anybody. And this was the perfect battle to actually end with. They ended it with a bang. They ended it with a bang. The only issue was like the time thing. I don't know really what that was about. Cause like everybody was confused. Me and Tayra looked at Beasley like, he said Tom. I'm like, what is going on? I don't really don't know where that came from. But besides that, that little issue, they were going at it. Fred had bars. Bars. Fred had, Briz had bars. They were so creative in, in what they were saying. Like, the, the bar, everything was just so well put together. That energy. I thought Danny Myers and Kayshawn had energy. Oh. And to be the this last the battle of the night, fine. to yes. be the last battle of the night, had that much energy, that was, that was fucking cool. Right, and I had just spoken to Old Red about it, and I'm like, he's like, yeah, I'm ready to leave. I'm like, you know, you about to battle. Brushed it right off, the energy turned on. I'm like, what the hell? Like, literally the transformer, because his energy was like right here, and then it just skyrocketed. And Briz was kind of like the same way. Everybody was in their zone. And one thing I can say about all the battle rappers, I saw all of them in a different zone here than how they kind of are at other, other events. It was different so totally different. Everybody was kind of, they were around, but they was isolating themselves. Isolating themselves. They're going to the corner, go by the steps, go by, you know, where, wherever to be by themselves. And it was just... It was just dope to just observe it, and again, I was just so I was just so honored to be a part of it. You know, smack everybody always show me love, even though I'm part of other you know entities. It, it's all love with me. You know, shout out Dub, shout out Champion. Um, everybody knows I love battle rap, so you know, 
You probably wouldn't even know. There you have it. Kiki oh, Hard Body Not recap. Yes. Yes. Smack Volume One. Volume One. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be more uh, events coming be. on. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter at Kiki underscore Hard Body. Don't follow her on shit. <laughs> Nothing at all. K E E. K E E underscore H A R D B O D Y. You know, look out for me. You know, I got a lot of different projects that I'm working on, and you're gonna see more of me. Make sure y'all check out that Red Man and Wu Tang Clan video. Lesson learned, featuring your girl. I'm modeling and acting, and you already know. Shout out to my Goonie gang, gang gang. <laughs> Thank you are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go!